moss, drip leaf, spore blossoms. All this and more in this snapshot video. Hey everyone, this is Cheese.6 with another snapshot video. Today we have Minecraft 1.17 Snapshot 21W05A with a few new features for the Caves and Cliffs update. Before we get into it, there are two things I've never done. One, gotten married. And two, had 150,000 subscribers on YouTube. My fiance said that if we hit 150,000 subscribers by the time we get married in September 2021, she will walk down the aisle wearing a Minecraft Steve head. So please help us embarrass our families for generations to come by pressing subscribe and sharing with your friends. All right, on with the snapshot. Lots and lots of new decoration blocks added this week. Our new features in 21W05A include azalea bushes, flowering azalea bushes, cave vines and glow berries, drip leaves, decorative blocks for the upcoming lush caves, hanging roots, and rooted dirt, moss, and spore blossoms, cave vines and glow berries. Cave vines grow down from the ceiling like weeping vines, and when they grow, they have a chance of producing glow berries. Glow berries are a natural light source as well as a food source for players and foxes. You're gonna need to use the glow berries to plant new cave vines, but bone mealing a cave vine will create new glow berries, so you can kind of cycle those back and forth forever. Drip leaf. A small drip leaf needs moisture, so it grows on clay or underwater. Small drip leaf grows into big drip leaf when bone mealed, which then grows even taller when it's bone mealed. If you stand on a big drip leaf, it'll tilt after a while and you'll fall off unless you're crouching or jumping, which will prevent it from tilting. And of course, it will tilt back up again after a while. The big drip leaf will break when it's hit by a projectile, and the wandering trader will sometimes sell small drip leaf plants. Moss. We have two more decorative blocks, moss block and the moss carpet. And the moss carpet can be crafted from the moss blocks. Who would have thought? Spore blossom. This is a beautiful large flower placed on ceilings, and particles will drip from it. So those are all of the new features. We also have some changes to existing features, including that the stone cutter can now be used to craft the different copper block variants, which have been renamed. They're now called copper block, exposed copper block, weathered copper block, and oxidized copper block in sequence of least to most oxidized. Drowned no longer drop gold ingots. They now have a chance of dropping a copper ingot. I really like this. This makes copper renewable where it was not before. New skulk sensor events have been added. I'll list them on the screen right now. Feel free to pause the video. I'm gonna move on ahead. And there have been some changes made to powder snow. The powder snow changes include flaming arrows now get extinguished when they collide with powder snow. Skeletons now convert to strays when frozen. Powder snow is now pushable by pistons and sticky pistons and foxes can now walk on top of powder snow without falling in. I think some of these changes are gonna be really cool for redstoners, maybe some technical players as well. Speaking of technical players, there are some technical changes in 21W05A, including improved performance when using many overrides on an item model, and copper oxidation is now a random tick effect, and thus affected by the random tick speed game rule. Tons and tons of bug fixes this update. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll through all of these. Feel free to pause the video if you wanna read these, or as always, I will have the link to the changelog in the description below. And that is all we have for today. I'm excited to see where 1.17 takes us. I think it's shaping up to be a really interesting update. Before we end the video, I am gonna take a second to shamelessly plug my socials. Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and TikTok are all down in the description below. I don't really post too often on them, but I am starting to use them more. Um, I'm thinking about one Minecraft YouTube stream every Tuesday and one variety Twitch stream every Thursday. Let me know what you think of that down in the comments. Also, thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed to this channel. I really appreciate all of you, the old ones, the new ones, all of my subscribers, I really appreciate you. Also, I appreciate you if you are just watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, I appreciate you as well. I would appreciate if you did subscribe, but appreciation, appreciation, appreciation. I look forward to seeing this community grow. And with that said, this has been Cheese Dud, and I will see you next time.